Here are scenes from a raging, dangerous war between rival tow firms around Toronto. The mob reporter here with details on an odd form of organized crime that has had an alarming rise across several cities of southern Ontario that are linked by the heavily traveled 400 series of highways. These are some of the busiest highways in the world and there are a lot of collisions on them. Tow trucks racing to the scenes of crashes has always been competitive and it's often rough and tumble. But in the last few years, things have evolved into criminal towing cartels. This week, police branded them as bona fide organized crime groups who use extreme violence, threats and intimidation to expand and defend their turf, their assets and their interests. It's not just to get that initial highway towing job, but for the real money that comes after through bogus repair bills, car rental fees, fake medical claims, physiotherapy, inflated insurance payments. It's making them millions, police say. And that kind of cash has sparked a tow war that's brought murders, shootings, assaults, dozens and dozens of fire bombings and arsons. Here is Inspector Mike Slack of York Regional Police, telling us what investigators allege from their sweeping raids and arrests this week that hit four criminal tow cartels. Organized crime does not always come in the form that we expect. It does not always have a name like in Dragada, the Mafia, or street gangs. Its members do not always wear colors or have origins that are several decades old. Organized crime begins with an opportunity to make money and a level of greed that leads to criminality and violence. The towing industry and its lack of regulations have bred exactly that environment. Over time, unscrupulous companies and the people working for them have found ways to inflate costs and victimize consumers. Their fraudulent building, fraudulent repairs, fraudulent physiotherapy claims have earned them millions in illicit income. And when these profits were not enough, they staged collisions using drivers they recruited. They deliberately caused collisions on roadways and in parking lots across the GTA. Organized criminal tow grips have been formed. As the profits increased, so has the demand for territory, and with that, so has the need to control that territory through violence. The Greater Toronto Area has been the scene of significant violence between rival tow trucks and tow industry. We allege that the competition for control of the towing market has resulted in murders, attempted murders, shootings, assaults, arsons, threats, and property damage. Insurance companies have actively pursued legal action against various tow companies. In fact, the car law firm located in the city of Vaughan had been hired by insurance companies to act on false claims until it too became the target of violence, threats, and extortion. In response to all of this criminal activity, in February of 2020, York Regional Police partnered with the Ontario Provincial Police, the Toronto Police Service, and the Canada Revenue Agency, and launched a joint force investigation dubbed Project Platinum. This ongoing investigation has identified several organized criminal tow groups working with, within the towing industry who have used violence and property damage as a means to gain control. Investigators have confirmed the tow companies collaborated with auto repair shops and physiotherapy clinics, as well as car and truck rental companies to carry out their frauds. With the assistance of the OPP and TPS, we have charged Thomas Solowinski, Khalid Abderzak, Zakari Youssef with numerous offenses, including attempted murder in connection with the attack at the car law firm. In March of 2020, members of Project Platinum executed the first series of warrants in Brantford and Tilsonburg, where we see several firearms, including handguns and restricted rifles. A large quantity of drugs was also seized, including cocaine and fentanyl. Arrested at that time was Saloon Jassim, Marina Leachman, and Duane Council of Brantford and Heather Rowbottom of Tilsonburg. 
Project Platinum members also worked in cooperation with the York Regional Police Homicide Unit and in March 2020, the homicide unit arrested Mohammed El Zahawi and Abda Laziz Ibrahim, both with ties to the tow truck industry, for the murder of Sohil Rafapur. Rafapur, who was also working in the tow uh, industry, was shot and killed outside a residence in Richmond Hill in December of 2018. On Thursday, April 30th, 2020, and May 1st, 2020, more warrants were executed in the city of Brantford and the city of Hamilton. Five suspects were taken into custody and have been charged. Saloom Jassim of Brantford was once again arrested, along with his brother, Seth Jassim, and Marina Leachman, who have been charged with participating in and instructing offenses for a criminal organization, as well as conspiracy to traffic cocaine fentanyl, and firearms. Marina Leachman and Thomas Slowinski of Brantford were also charged at that time by the homicide unit with first degree murder for their part in the killing of Sohil Rafapur. Last week on Monday, May the 20th, York Regional Police, the OPP, and the Toronto Police executed 21 additional search warrants at residences and businesses in the cities of Vaughan, Richmond Hill, Markham, Hamilton, Oakville, Toronto, and the towns of Aurora and the town of East Willenberry. Arrested and charged after, uh, at that time were Alexander Vinogradsky, Omar Zahawi and the, of the city of Vaughan, and Filippo Genova of Toronto. Among other offenses, this criminal organization orchestrated and executed an arson for profit at a local vehicle storage com compound in the city of Vaughan. On March 29, 2020, each party benefited from the burning of three large transport trucks that were stored at this location. Besides ar arson, these men have been charged with numerous offenses, including participating in, instructing, committing offenses, and recruiting for a criminal organization. Investigators have also laid mischief and fraud related charges. To date, as part of Project Platinum, we have seized five kilograms of the deadly drug fentanyl worth 900,000 on the street, 1.5 kilograms of, of cocaine with a street value of $150,000, 1.25 kilograms of methamphetamine worth $100,000, and 7.7 .7 kilograms of cannabis worth 77,000 on the street for a total of $1.2 million. We have also seized over a half million dollars in currency and 40 firearms, including handguns, rifles, shotguns, and a machine gun. During the investigation into these criminal groups, other prohibited devices, such as large capacity drum magazines, brass knuckles, a silencer, and tasers were seized. To date, 11 tow trucks have been seized as offensive related property, with additional tow trucks being identified for seizure in the future. The warrants on May 20th were very fruitful, providing documentation and computer records that will support the large number of criminal charges to date and the arrests that we will be making uh, in the coming days, weeks, and months.